All right, folks, now this really is the last one of these we're going to do. Um, again, we've tried to just show you what we think is cool. Um, it turns out most of those people are already on Anarchy Advertising, and that's just the way it is. The cool people find the cool sites and the cool ways to market their products, and um, this is a really cool boat. You know we've all sort of had a hard-on for the gunboats for a while. Um, the big problem with the Gunboat 46 that we found, or 48, has been that it just hasn't really performed that well. Maybe it's been because the guys who are sailing and load them down um, uh, with gear, and you know, they're cruising boats, so obviously they need to be able to carry some gear. But they just haven't been performing that well um, in some of the big races we've fought. Now, we still love them, they're fabulous, they're doing great, and, uh, and Peter's got a new 66 coming across the ocean shortly, and the 90s are well, going well. But there's sort of a, a new boat that is, I won't say a copy, because that wouldn't be fair, but it is um, definitely built in the vein of the gunboat. It is a fast cruising cat, designed to be handled short-handed or single-handed, um, with some slick features, some slick construction, lightweight, high power. Um, I'm on board this uh, Moxie 37, M37, and I'm just gonna give you a short tour here, because I don't have a lot of battery left. But, simply enough, got a screecher here okay uh, uh, on this this stubby sprit that they use to, to fly their downwind sails um, they also have a code zero furled up in there which is about twice the size of the screecher the code zero comes back past the shrouds um, and they're both on furlers got a one that lives on lives permanently hanked on we've got a two that actually gets hooked to a strop that goes above the one's hanks and then rides up the mast that way. Um, we've got a 55-ish foot long carbon spar. And here's a little, this is a, a, a beautifully done infused carbon spar. And the paint job they've done is a great job. A mix of some Ronstan gear. The uh, bat cars are, or the batten cars are Ronstan. Um, the nice thing about this compared to the gunboat is that it's a rotating spar. And we've sort of wondered that for a long time. Why is it that, that you have a big, beautiful wing spar without being able to rotate it? This rotates simply, easily, and obviously it's a huge performance advantage. Um, and it just makes life a lot easier not to have all that rigging up there. And you can see, how, now how, do they, how, does the, uh, uh, how do they terminate up in there? And there's a dog bone on the inside. A dog bone. So, really simple, and we like simple. Big, fat mast, a lot of sail area up there without ever hoisting. So, um... We've got U Uyi Uva, Uva, <laughs> Uva uh, who is the designer of the boat. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. You ever check out Sailing Anarchy? Yep, every day. Oh, good, good. I, I hear that answer a lot. <laughs> People are admitting it more and more now. <laughs> well, welcome, and uh, you've, you've drawn a, a hell of a boat. Tell us, uh, well, right now we're looking at this sort of steering station here. Um, yeah, do that. Which, again, and, and, I, and I apologize, I'm comparing it to the gunboat, but as far as high performance cruising racing uh, cats go, there aren't a lot out there, so uh, I got to compare it to what I know. Sail, I know you use sail drives, so that's Before I get past yeah, this, have, uh, this is the track bearings. for the number one. Again, we got Ron Stand gear on this, as well as on the Traveler. Uh, Uwe mixes uh, the different gear that he finds well. You can see these carver blocks. <laughs> that give you, you know, get, get, let you get it really close there. I never even met okay. before. <laughs> so take care. Here is a. And I hope much. you do well with your boat. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. So we've got um, this steering station, and what we talked about the gunboat is the steering stations in the back of the gunboat are are back at the back of the boat. It's really hard to see anything. This station, um, Uvi, tell me why you planned it this way. Excuse me. Well, can you move out of the way for yeah. a minute? Thanks. Okay. We put the wheel over here because it, it means that you can really sail this boat single-handedly. You don't have to leave the wheel to do any of the controls. They're right within reach. And the other thing is that you can stand very comfortably and you can see the entire sail plan very easily. And now you've also built this this T-top here. Yeah, and the idea is when you really just want to take it easy, you sit under the top here. And you can actually just steer the boat with your feet. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's that easy. Um, and you've got a, a, a nice wide boom, and that's also something you built in-house? Yeah. So the spar and boom are both built in-house, and, and what's the name of... of, uh, of Jazz Marine. Jazz Marine yeah. in Cape Town. Yeah. 
Right on. So, um, also you were showing us, as far as tra controls go, it's really simple up here. But this is one of the neat things. This is a, a, a traveler. These red lines are trav, trav control lines. And the trav runs back there full length. Um, but I guess it, it looks like it's one-to-one -one back there. It can't be. It's not one-to-one. -one. <laughs> you see what happens is it, it goes in and in the off beam we've got the purchase. And then the single line goes in the center girder up to here and comes out of the vehicle. And the purchase in there is what? Four-to-one. Four-to-one. Gotcha. Um, and then the way we've positioned these crossover blocks is you can either go to this winch or if you flip it on the other side you can go across to that winch if it gets too heavy for you to handle by hand. Got it. And you've set this up with tactic? Yeah. Nice to not have wires in the mast. Installation is a lot cheaper. Do you have any wires in the mast? None. None? Oh, love it. Love it. Okay, now so what are these here? Those are dagger board up and down. These are dagger board up and down. These, now these Same. dagger boards also, we'll give you a little quick shot of them. Um, these dagger boards are curved along their length. And you can see right here. Here's the dagger board up and down coming out of the deck. And there's the dagger boards. How long are they? Over? About 3.6 meters long. So 10 plus 10 feet, feet long. All right. I'll just drop it for you if you want. Yeah, go for it. And there you go. And like any of these cats, it sails five, six degrees of heels, enough just to get the windward hull kissing the, the surface of the water. Um, one thing that Uwe told me, Uwe, Uwe, <laughs> told me that's pretty interesting is they first made this um, this T top up, and you can see it's huge. They first made it up out of glass, um, and it came in at about 800 pounds. And then then you went and relayed it up in carbon. You just found as light as you can make it was 800 pounds. You remade up in carbon, obviously more more money. But what the weight come in at? 140 pounds. 140 pounds, which is important where it's sitting. So um, <laughs> we're gonna take you inside here real quickly. Before we go and show everyone where, where they're going to sleep if they buy this boat, over, what's the uh, what's the price delivered? Uh, this boat right here is three ninety. Three ninety. So three hundred ninety thousand dollars for a boat that isn't far off some of the uh, the real sexy forty foot uh, cats that we've been looking at lately. Um, and what what kind of speeds have you seen so far? You've sailed it a fair bit, yeah. Upwind top speed was about eleven point three. In how much wind? Tacking through eighty five ninety degrees. Mm -hmm. And then downwind, top speed was 26. All right. I think we need a ride. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll jump in here. Actually, what, one of the things what, I want to show you, you. What I haven't shown you. Uh, yeah. This is the this backrest in its normal position. Yeah. In about 10 seconds, you can put it into a bed. That's pretty, nice that's pretty much where I would sleep every night. Exactly. And we've got another nice feature, which is there's a deep freeze down below, but there's a heavily insulated ice box up here that, according to Uvik, can hold about six cases of beer. <laughs> oh, it's empty now, so I don't know where those cases all went, but he's South African, so we can guess. Um, just take you through the holes real quickly. Forward, and it's identical on the other side. Uh, forward, we've got um, a head and then a nice big double. Ventilation into the uh, into the steering station. We've also got opening port lights throughout, um, which are very nice. And we've got a great six foot eight, probably headroom um, cooking station uh, galley. The deep freeze here, and that's the starboard hull. We've got uh, what's this is this is the Lombardini. We've got twin Lombardini 15, 14 horsepower engines. And sail drives. Port hull, same forward, but back here, an interesting solution is sort of a, a, an encapsulated sit down nav station. Now, I've never seen one of these before, but they basically work with the structure of the hull to give you a beautiful nav station, really comfy. Um, and um, if the people in the other hull are bugging you, you just got to put a little panel in here and you've got a bed. Another nice big. So, um, it's a nice touch. So we've got a, a, an epoxy glass hulled cat, nice lightweight cat with a very beautiful rig at a really competitive price. Um, and uh, what's the all up weight of the boat? 7,200 pounds. 7,200 pounds, really like a, a, about as good of an island cruising boat as you can find.
What about, um, have you, did you deliver this boat from South Africa? No, unfortunately, we didn't have the time, plus the hurricane season would have been a bit of a nightmare. Right. Uh, it was shipped. Would you, would you, would you sail it? I'd put my hand up immediately if I could get a chance to sail this boat from Cape Town to the Caribbean. All right, well, if you, if you have, if you need, I'll if you need you. a licensed skipper or, you know, I'll somebody fun, you. give me a you. shout. For sure. All right. You'll Cheers, man. Thanks yes. for the tour. Nice Good luck. You.